space. Hi, Patrick Morgan, and he's going to talk to us about Irish Blind Golf. Welcome to the programme, Patrick. Oh, thanks for having me on, Declan. Now, Patrick, I'm sure many of our listeners are unaware of blind golf, but for the uninitiated, if you want to play golf as a blind person, what, a, what do you need to have and how do you go about it? Well, firstly, you'd have to have an eyesight test and then you, it, it'll ca- if you have a category. So there's four different categories. A B1, which would be totally blind. A B2, which would be under 260 eyesight. B3, under 660 eyesight and then over that is B4 so when you get an eyesight test and then they send it to the international organisation and they will tell you whether you're B1 or B2, B3 and then you'd start coming along to one of our events and um, you'd have to bring a guide with you somebody, maybe a family member, a friend or you know maybe if it's a husband and wife and you go out and play around the golf and the, the guide would be basically the eyes so the, the, the guide would set you up so say for example bring it to the tee and then when you hit the ball the guy will tell you where it goes on the fairway in the bunker or in a roof and then they'd watch they'd watch how you get around the course health and safety make sure you don't walk into bunkers or even more so water because then the guy will jump in to, <laughs> yeah. to a pill after you and then basically they'll tell you how far you're hitting the shot so they'd say oh it's 150 to the green or if you want to say for example there's water in front of the green they tell you how far and then when it gets to the green, I know with myself and my dad, who's my guide, we kind of a chip and action, kind of like a clockwise, so certain shots that have certain distance, so like 7 o'clock, half 7, 8 o'clock. And then when it gets to the putting, um, the guide is allowed to stand behind the put, um, a different rule, which is disability golf rules, and that's one of them. They stand behind the put, and the, my dad usually say, do a swing, he'd say, oh, that, that might be enough. And then normally, if I hit it, and... More times than not, it will be okay. The only reason it won't be okay if I hit it too hard or don't hit it enough. But um, the only that's one of the rules difference from normal golf to blind golf. Another rule that's in blind golf is the vision impaired or blind person is allowed ground a club in a bunker, which normal golfers are not allowed. Mm-hmm. Well, that is, that is important as well. That that you, that that difference is understood. Now, um, if you're playing tournament blind golf you would play people with a similar level of visual disability is that correct yeah for the international events they have three side categories as it's it's b1 b2 b3 and different countries would host international events and uh, this year so far i went to two events went to spanish in madrid four people from irish blind golf went and one of our members ed mcguire he won his own side category b2 and the second event I went to, the British Open, Alamore in Scotland, happened a few weeks ago, in, outside Inverness. Myself, another fellow, Waddy Rude, went to represent Ireland, and Waddy finished second, and I finished fourth. It was played at a golf course called Spade, very, a very difficult golf course, and where you have to stay out a long rough, unfortunately. So you're, in fact, an international golfer. I am, of course, yeah. Well, then you're carrying, well, congratulations, and uh, fair play to you. you. You have several international caps to your name, in honour speaking. <laughs> yeah, I've played a quite few now. I've been playing, in the, I'm playing Irish Blind Golf since 2013, and um, international events have started playing since 2015. Before the COVID, there used to be a few events I used to go to, but unfortunately, over the last couple of years, they haven't been allowed to happen because of the travel restrictions. But thankfully, this year, they're kind of getting back on again, which is great. So, if any of our listeners have either acquired... Uh, visual impairment in the last number of years or were born that way want to take up golf Irish Blind Golf how do you contact Irish Blind Golf how do you get involved um, well they can contact us through email irishblindgolf at hotmail.com um, we're on Facebook Instagram Twitter and you can message us private message through that we have a dedicated phone number which is 87 1046 but if you wanted to try out we have training and development through Ellen Green Golf Club Driving Range we have one of them sessions once a month you can come up and hit a few balls um, with, with a pro his name is Graham Sweeney and you can try it out and see whether you get a taste for that or not the next session that we have on is on the 23rd of August which is a Tuesday from one to two, and if anyone is interested and wants to give Blind Golf a go, you're more than welcome to come up and hit a few balls. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for ta- joining us and telling us all about Irish Blind Golf, and uh, we'll, no doubt we'll be talking to you about that uh, in the not-too-distant future again. Thanks very much for having me on.
And I think we're going to take an early commercial break at this stage, and we'll be back with uh, cricket after that. Space.